Hey guys, and welcome back to more Let's Play Super Mario uh, Galaxy. I'm your host, Picking Level 72, and we'll get started off getting five lives from Princess Peach. Alright. So, to start off this episode, we're going to be exploring the newly lit up right side of the Comet Observatory. As you can see. This couch is the comfiest, but you're not even sitting on it, you're floating above it. You. No. What? Uh, did you get Mama to redo from the storybook? Yeah, well, then we'll talk about the, uh, storybook. And that's in there. Unless you want to listen to a really long story, I would, uh, skip out on that. Right now. Up here, we have our first red luma of the game. I've got a secret, but I'm not telling. Hmm. Note for later, I guess. Now, if you look out over there, you can see a one up. It's kind of hard to get to right now, but if you. Uh, I'm going to try to get it. Because it's possible. Well, unless I keep running into this wall, even though I'm not really running into it at all. There, there we go. And then you're going to jump up here, and then jump out into space. And you'll be brought up to the uh, jump up area. Alright. Now, head over here, and across this, uh, bridge, and you can see that the, uh, ascends up to the left. But if you head to the right, there's another one-up back here. Yeah, you believe me now when I say this game just gives you one-ups. Because it does. Alright. Now, on with the actual, um, progression in the story. And here we have the uh, kitchen where we already have enough stars to beat Bowser. Which I always find funny. Alright, see, we already have unlocked these four, but not this one, which is kind of strange. Anyway, unlock the first galaxy the Beach Bowl Galaxy. Which is going to be a water level. You know how video games are with water levels, right? So great. Alright, sunken treasure. Now this is one of the worlds kind of like, uh, Honey Hive, where it's not, you, it's not like you're in space and there's a whole bunch of planets around. You have one main planet, which would be this, the beach bowl. As you can see, it was shaped like a bowl, and it's beach. And before we actually get on with the star, this place is rather interesting in what you can do there, like swing upon this vine, get some... Star bits. Um, quick boxes. But that's not anything new. And they're telling you about sparkly things. If that's not an obvious hint enough for you. I always like the music here. It's just so calming in a strange way. Alright. Now you can head up here and try and miss the swing completely, or you can uh, head out there and actually hit it, and you can try to get that one up. But don't think it's as easy as, oh, I just swing as far as I can, I'll get it. No, you actually have to have a little bit of uh, halfway. And I actually got it there on the first try. That really happens. Alright. Now up here. After running into a rock, we head to a right, we'll find a chest, but we don't have anything to open with it. So I guess that's a note for later. Into the water here, there'll be a pipe. And in the pipe, we have one of these underground worlds that's all wavy because we're technically underwater. Now for this, you want to uh, not destroy very many... Bricks. Because they all turn into star bits once you uh, hit that coin. And there's the one Guma. Oh. Anyway. And finally, on the right side of the beach, we have a coconut. Now, don't think you can open that chest over there 
with this coconut. You won't be able to. Don't try to. You just get frustrated. I know I did that when I first played this game. Alright, now we're on with the actual mission. These uh, big penguins will talk to you about the sparklies, which I, we know are uh, launch star pieces. You just swim around by pushing A, and you can uh, do a spin. And make sure you collect air bubbles so that you don't die. You can uh, spin boxes to break them. And you could sort of talk to all these penguins, but uh, it takes too long. Alright, so that's already three. Then there should be. One over here. Be aware of the eel, though. We have no way to defeat him yet, either. Alright, head back over here. And... Swim into this clam. Getting the last star. Peace. And then over to the launch star. Which will launch us up to the upper half of this plant. That uh, bunny will tell us about high jumping again. And here we have the original water theme from Super Mario Bros. Which I always liked how they had throwbacks to the old games with these notes. Doing that, we'll unlock that uh, one up, and then hitting the switch will. Hitting the switch will cause that one bridge to appear. Uh, destroy the pawn plants if you want, uh, there's not really any point to destroy them unless you really want stall bits. Put that one up. And then slam on this. Wall jump up. Spin, spin again, and you got your stall. Alright. So, uh... It took a long time for one star, but this galaxy takes some time with its stars. And then let's hand them out, because you're getting into later in the game, so you have to be challenged. Kind of, if you could call that a challenge. Alright. And there's a new chapter in our storybook. I'll probably be doing the story maybe at the end of the game, if I feel like it. Anyway, back to Beach Bowl. Well, this time, the mission is... Uh, pass and Swim Test. So this time, we're gonna be... Passing a Swim Test. I don't really have any comment for that. Alright. Uh, I don't feel like talking to you, I don't feel like going up there, because I'm lazy. Alright. Look at this guy. I'm gonna tell you, I hate to take the swimming school final swim test. Uh, yeah, even though I was never enrolled in swimming school, so how can I take the final? But, um. He's looking for. The Golden Shell. Which is uh, very easy to get. What you want to look for is a line of four penguins swimming around. And the lead penguin over there will have the gold shell. The swim, spin, just spin near him and you will steer his shell. But instead of turning it to the instructor, which is an easy start, we, we, ow! Stupid. Clam. Ugh. Alright, now let's go get that star. Gold. Oh, there you go. As I said, as you know, treasure chests can be opened by shells, so let's open up that treasure chest over there. By the way, if you want to uh, slow the gold shell down, when you open the water, just hit uh, Z. Hit the spot, because you need to angle it. 
so that you jump out of the water onto that platform, and the cameras and the water kind of suck. How one of these days, video games will fix their cameras, but today is not the day. And I'm doing this again. Ah, come on. Ah. No. I can just look at it. Look at the eye. Just, yeah. There it is. Alright. I think I. Oh, come on, that was totally enough speed to jump. Uh, yeah, this is really great uh, source material. Man, it's kind of sound. Alright, I'll give it one more try and then paint the boat. This is uh, the best commentary video ever. Wait, okay, I actually got it. Alright, so we're gonna do a, a double jump to get up here. Take the shell over here and carefully aim it at this. Which will unlock a launch jump. Taking you to this far off planet. Where we have. Water, water falls, and these uh blue duck looking like things from sunshine. All right, as you can see, they're gonna follow you for a while, and they will launch you up in the air without actually doing damage to you. Now, what you're gonna do is, as you saw in the beginning, there was a coin floating in midair. But it was too high for us to get, so you have to lure one of these guys back to the start. Which is going right over there. So let's lure this guy into the shadow. Pop you up, unlocking a new power up the Ice Flower. This will transform Mario into Ice Mario, which allows him to skate on ice that he automatically creates. Pretty cool. But Ice Mario can't do anything that no Mario can on land. It's just this ability. But it's important for this because the ice also allows you to wall jump up some waterfalls. Convenient. So we just keep wall jumping. And I went up the wrong side. So, but I got a coin. It's okay. Like, he didn't have any, uh, ice snowballs instead of fireballs for, like, the fire flower. And so head up these waterfalls. Hit that on the face. Launch this up here. Then head over here. Dodge his attack. Slam it. Yes. Nah. Hit him on the head. There we go. We're going to unlock another ice flower up here. Then, use it. Head over here. Wall jump up these two waterfalls. Launch automatically up here. Wall jump up there. Ignore that island over there. It doesn't do anything. Alright, now what you want to do here is lure this guy over the water to that far off island over there, avoiding these ice things because they will break your ice path, making uh, the glove die. Alright, and then stand in it and you get a star. Got a star. So I know I only got two stars this episode, but I mean, we're already very close to 15 minutes and recording, so that's going to be it for this episode. So next time we're going to be taking on the rest of the Beach Bowl Galaxy. Alright, see you guys then.